All right, welcome everybody. It's KB here and uh, in this video, we got some good news, some bad news for Windows 11. So the good news is that Windows 11 is one month and four days away from getting released. Yes, Windows 11 will be available publicly on October 5 and it's September 1 yeah one month and four days yay good news very good news <laughs> whoever was waiting for the windows 11 but i think it's too soon what we expected it's supposed to be released on 2022 somewhere i don't know early but uh, for those people who have been waiting for the windows 11 publicly and then uh, it's good news but for the most users it's actually a bad news because there are so many things that needs to be fixed or there are some features missing from Windows 11 that we can see on Windows 10. Some essential features. Actually, I'm going to make a video on that. Missing features on Windows 11. Be sure to watch that because it's crazy. And that's why I think uh, Microsoft is rushing to release Windows 11 too soon. And on top of that, another bad news is that, uh, you know, there is a very cool feature coming to Windows 11 that is Android apps on Windows 11 that is not coming. You know, if we haven't seen that feature on dev or beta channel yet. So I believe that Android on Windows 11 will not come when it gets released it will come in next update maybe five or six months later or something like that so it's really sad actually because you know in the trailer in the announcement live stream we saw that all the crazy features you know they introduce many things so we won't see many things on this uh, whenever it gets released not whenever actually october 5 one month and four days left <laughs> all right so rest yeah they made this post uh, i think today or yesterday it's fresh actually fresh news so yeah good for you guys whoever was waiting for the windows 11 final build but you know i you know i just want to tell you guys there are so many missing features that you need to see so i will make a video on that be sure to watch that and another good news for the windows 11 users it's not even a good or bad news actually uh, you know if you go to the system requirements uh, you will see the same thing here okay but uh, according to many news websites uh, they have done some changes in minimum system requirements so this is what you see here, I will put a link in the description for both sites. You can go there and read everything you need to read. But let me explain you what is going to happen with the system requirements for Windows 11. OK, so if you meet all of these system requirements, you have all of that thing that is shown here. That means you will get update. Let's say you're using a Windows 10, you will get update. All right for let's say for some reason your processor isn't compatible you will not get update from windows 10 let's say you don't have a tpm 2.0 you will not get any update so you know what they have done the changes on minimum system requirements for windows 11 is that uh, you can get a iso file and then you can upgrade and you can also do the clean install but there is a catch too. So some people, it's not officially, I don't, I don't see any official uh, statement or official blog about this, but uh, people are assuming that uh, if your PC is somehow not compatible with Windows 11 and you still install the Windows 11 using ISO file, then you won't get any updates, not even a security updates. So you'll have to install every update manually so that's that but the good news is that you will be able to run windows 11 the bad news is that it will not be officially supported which means 
Microsoft is just saying, okay, do it at your own risk. We won't be supporting, but we will allow you to install the Windows 11. So it's not official, official yet. Uh, I would love to test this out uh, on my old PC or laptop, but my lap laptop has only processor that is not compatible with Windows 11. Rest is okay. So I was able to upgrade, update, from Windows 10 to 11, I did the clean install and I'm getting the updates. So if there is anyone who has the extra laptop, which has really bad specs, try out. Uh, maybe uh, you will have a better idea, but you know, until uh, it gets official, how the Windows 11 is gonna work on non-supported PC or laptops, uh, till then I'm just gonna stay shut up okay <laughs> so yeah uh, even though they have changed the minimum system requirements you will see the same system requirements here this will be officially supported you will get updates and all that but uh, according to some news and media uh, you will be able to install Windows 11 on non-compatible PC too so that's that and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, these are uh, some big news for Windows 11 <laughs> for today. Nothing too much, but the crazy thing is that Windows 11 is uh, coming very soon. So that's crazy, but I'm not satisfied because as I said, there are so many things missing on Windows 11 and uh, because the Android app support is also not coming. So it's... Uh, it's really sad so uh, you know one more time let's say you know uh, Windows 11 requires you to have a TPM 2.0 but even if you have a TPM 1.2 or something the older version of TPM you will still be able to install the Windows 11 so but you won't get any updates and all that so yeah let's not talk about this but uh, whenever it gets official I will update you guys too. But for now, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will put link in the description for both Windows 11 release date website and for the system requirements too. So you can go there and read whatever you want to do there. For now, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I highly recommend you guys to watch the uh, missing features on Windows 11 that will come tomorrow, I guess. But I should have made that video first and then make this video but uh, you know this is like the hot news right now so I'll make that missing features on Windows 11 tomorrow so be sure to watch that and let's see your reaction I want to see your reaction that's it hope you enjoyed it I will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye